Hi, I'm Vicki Blocker Reisinger, Marketing Communication Manager for Western Region Sub-C at FMC Technologies. Today we're here with Jennifer Bell, who has 20 years of experience in the oil and gas industry. What should an early career engineer expect in the oil and gas industry? Lots of responsibility first on, and also lots of opportunity for travel and working with lots of different cultures and working in lots of different countries. You can expect a team to not only have many cultures and people with the different backgrounds, but also very multidisciplined. So what skills have you found valuable that would be great for an early career engineer to consider? Very strong technical skills. Also understanding how the system works and how various different parts of mechanical engineering relate to each other. We're having to use lots of electronics. I've actually heard the term mechatronics. That's the combination of a mechanical engineering degree and electrical engineering. And those are some of the things that employers are looking for, for a student to have a really good understanding of mechatronics and how the mechanical and electrical engineering disciplines come together. So upstream, midstream, and downstream are pretty common terms used in the oil and gas industry. Can you explain what those fields are for someone that may not know or have experience within the, the energy sector? Sure. Well, commonly in the petroleum division, we kind of use the phrase molecule to market. And when you think about upstream, you're looking for the exploration. Where exactly are the, is the oil and gas? The oil and gas is discovered and it's also produced. Well, you have to transport it from wherever you're, the production's going on, whether that's offshore or onshore. That's considered midstream because that's the transportation. Downstream is where you take the refined product that you've got it from the host production facility through the pipeline to where you need to go. This is commonly known as refineries for most people. And as you know, in a refinery, we um, produce anything from plastics to oil and gas to diesel, you name it. What is the difference between reliability and integrity management? Reliability engineering is understanding when things are going to fail. Everything has a life cycle. Integrity management is a little bit riskier. That means that perhaps there's something catastrophic that's gone wrong or something catastrophic has happened to people or the environment. Integrity management requires a 24-hour surveillance or monitoring on the equipment or on the system, whereas reliability engineering is more if you think of a schedule-driven or a maintenance-driven um, activity. What is the value for engineers to understand and be familiar with regulatory requirements? I think it's really important for engineers to understand regulatory requirements and codes and standards. Engineers are designing things for people, so it's important for things to be safe. These codes were developed to ensure that we had safety in our designs and that they're safe for the people and the environment. What's motivated you to uh, be a volunteer for an organization like ASME? What motivates me is being able to give back to ASME. When I started off as an early career engineer, the Petroleum Division reached out to me and they were wanting to mentor and develop me and I hope to continue to give just as much as ASME has given to me. So what is something very cool and exciting about the oil and gas industry that might encourage an early career student to consider that as an industry of choice? Well, there's two things that I can think of that at least I find very cool. One, it's the technology and two, it's the chance to work internationally. There are a lot more robotics involved now in the oil and gas industry. So when we have to do repairs, once you hit about 600 feet in water, you cannot send a human to go do repairs. I think what's really important, no matter if you're an engineer or not or what discipline you're in, is that you're doing what you're passionate about. What I find with early career engineers, particularly if you're willing to work in the field, you're the person in charge. So if you want to have that sort of excitement and being on the edge, and actually having a strong leadership role, those opportunities are available to you.